Hey guys and welcome to this week's video. Now when you are watching this it is exactly one week until Christmas. Now if you're like me Christmas is a very hard time. For me it sometimes can put a lot of pressure on you to be very happy and it means a lot of pretending surrounded by family and it just pushes a lot of your anxiety or mental health sort of closer to the edge than normal and it's a very hard time to get through because you want to join in you want to be there with your family and you want to you know have a good christmas but you can't guarantee how you're going to feel because you have no control over your mental illness you have no idea if for that day you're going to have a good day or if you're going to have one of the worst days of your life but you're still expected to be happy and have a good time and that puts a lot of pressure on you so instead of forcing yourself to enjoy Christmas, just try and survive it is my motto, is how to survive Christmas. I have to take breaks. My anxiety is an all time high. Even though it's my family, my anxiety is at an all time high and I need regular breaks. I can be in that room, but and you know, sometimes I just need to take myself off for 20 minutes or so just to sort of regroup and calm down. And by doing that, I can allow myself to remain safe and not do anything silly. As much as Christmas is important and as much as you want to spend time with family and friends, you need to survive. You need to do what's right for you and you need to do what you can to make sure that you can enjoy Christmas and get through it as safely as possible for yourself so you are here to celebrate many more Christmases because surviving it is a lot more important than enjoying it so i take regular breaks you know when i feel the panic or when i feel like i just can't take it anymore i take myself off i lock myself in my bedroom i even lock myself in the bathroom where i go outside for a few minutes just to sort of be alone and calm down and just get away from the noise sometimes i'll put in headphones and listen to music or watch some youtube videos just to calm down and just lose that feeling and just be able to breathe without being crowded. One thing I do is everybody likes you to be present and be in the room and you know and join in but what I tend to do is I'm not interested you know you're not interested in things you're not interested in as much but just because you are present in the room doesn't mean you have to be present in your head you know I will sit in a corner and to everyone else it'll look like you know I'm joining in I'm sat there listening to everybody but in my head I'll be in you know doing whatever I'll be thinking of little scenarios or playing a game in my head or you know just be physically present but you don't have to be mentally present so to everyone else you know you are joining in you are making the effort but you are in your own little world enjoying keeping yourself calm doing little things that you can enjoy without putting any pressure on yourself and if it is a bad day let it be a bad day go and have a cry Go and have a punch a pillow. You know, you can't control it. Don't let anyone make you feel bad for not being at your absolute best. I know I feel really, really guilty when I feel like it's all my fault if I'm having a bad day. But at the end of the day is, I didn't choose this. I didn't choose to suffer from mental illness. You know, if I could take it away, I would but I can't, all I can do is do my best and try to survive it. So if you are having a bad day on that day, don't let it destroy your self-esteem and your self-worth because you didn't choose this. You are trying your best. It's trial and error and you've just got to find little things you can do throughout the day that can keep you safe. And then when everyone goes, you can go back to being your own little bubble if you like. If you do need to talk, I am available. I always make sure that my phone is on on Christmas because I find it hard and I have talked to people on Christmas because it's just, it's really hard. It's all about, you know, that happy memories and happy families and everything has to be happy. But life isn't like that, you know. We can't guarantee how we're going to feel. So just try your best and get through it. And I'm here if you need to talk. Also, for those that are asking, I did really enjoy my Emmerdale experience and I did a vlog about it, so I'll put that link on the end screen for you. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on Christmas Day.
Bye, guys.